This is the Dick B. YouTube channel covering the history of Alcoholics Anonymous and the Christian recovery movement. My name is Dick B. I'm an active recovered member of the Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous. This is the seventh program of the Dick B. YouTube channel. And it covers the unique example of the Salvation Army. It discusses the simple, effective conversion, fellowship, and witness techniques of the Salvation Army in its work with derelicts, drunks, and criminals in the streets. Salvation Army is another factor of the Christian recovery movement that contributed to the founding of AA itself. The Salvation Army was founded in 1865 out of the pastoral work of a Methodist minister, William Booth, later known as General William Booth, the head of the Salvation Army. In 1880, a part of the party of eight Salvationists officially began the work of the Salvation Army in the United States. Little needs to be said about what they do today because their presence is widespread and well known. The important thing for AAs is the book that was very popular in early AA itself. It was Harold Begbie's Twice Born Men, uh, published by Fleming H. Ravel in 1909. Begbie's book was filled with accounts of recovered and reformed Salvationists plunging into the slums of London, offering a derelict drunkard or criminal salvation and the Bible, and then recruiting the reformed man into joining, quote, God's army, unquote. And nothing before or after set such a simple and godly solution for the problem of drunkenness. It involved the one-on-one -on -one witnessing by a devout, recovered Christian. It involved bringing the despairing and despondent drunks to God through Jesus Christ. And it involved teaching them the Bible. Finally, it insisted on their helping others as part of God's army. And this, in many ways, was the simple program followed years later by AA co-founders Dr. Bob and Bill Wilson. I put on the screen uh, a book called Understanding and Cur Counseling Persons with Alcohol, Drug, and Addiction Behavior Problems. It was written by my friend um, J. Howard Kleinbell, who was a professor emeritus at the Claremont uh, School of Theology. Dr. Kleinbell had been researching AA and the whole Christian recovery scene for years in the backdrop of his specialty, which was counseling uh, people who were afflicted with alcoholism and other uh, addictive problems. He asked me to review the book for its accuracy as to AA, and I did. But the important part of that book is that Dr. Kleinbell did a thorough study of the work of the rescue missions and particularly of the Salvation Army and did an excellent job not only of explaining the Salvation Army excess successes, but detailed what they did and what others thought of them. And at the close of his book, he asked me to endorse it, which I did, and he has passed on. There is the work of the Salvation Army covered in detail in our book, The Dick B. Christian Recovery Guide. And that's the close of the Salvation Army portion. This seventh video has been about the great example of personal work with derelicts and drunks, The Salvation Army. And we display three books. My title, The Dick B. Christian Recovery Guide, Harold Begbie's Twice Born Men, and Howard Kleinbell's book, Understanding and Counseling Persons with Alcohol, Drug, and Behavior Addictions. Our next video will cover the sixth major Christian origin of AA, 
the United Christian Endeavor Society.